wholeness and balance vibrations. If you found this topic and video to be interesting, you will understand that you have a light body. And fueling this light takes mindful decisions. One being consistent meditation. Entering your sacred space, try our binaural suites with the links down below to aid the wholeness of you. Enjoy. Wholeness. The Merkaba or light body vessel is an ancient tool of the non-physical or purely energetic anatomy. It can be used in three basic ways. One, as an energetic immune system or shield. Two, as a tool for manifestation of desires to program events in the time field. And three, to travel interdimensionally or beyond time and space. To create a Merkaba for personal protection and well-being, the star tetrahedron shape is envisioned around the physical form or around whatever person, object, or idea that you would like to protect. The rotating facets of the interlocking tetrahedra repel energetic attacks or undesired events, while the vertices or clefts are apertures where loving appropriate energy can enter the energy field, just like an immune system keeps out pathogenic microbes while the microbial allies that are required for digestion and vitality are allowed to flourish. To use the Merkaba for purposes of manifestation or cosmic lovemaking, first, the upward pointing tetrahedron of specific desires is envisioned around the physical form, while those desires are articulated either verbally or internally. Then the downward pointing tetrahedron of receptivity is envisioned, and the generalized intuitive desires are expressed and held within it like liquid filling a chalice. Finally, the two tetrahedra or equilateral pyramids are envisioned spinning, and this is like pressing run on a computer program. Females mostly feel comfortable spinning the upward pointing pyramid to the right and downward one to the left as shown in this image. However, it is suggested that males explore spinning their tetrahedra in the opposite format and that everybody choose the format that feels most comfortable to them. You know you're doing the procedure correctly when you feel a tube of light begin to connect the base of the spinning star tetrahedron to the top of the spinning shape through the central column of your spine. The most advanced use of the Merkaba is to travel interdimensionally and this information should be more widely available because it is the difference between running in place on a treadmill and actually running on a road and getting somewhere. It is also suggested that practitioners master the other two uses of the Merkaba and then work up to this advanced application of the technique. To travel interdimensionally, first envision the Merkaba around the physical body for protection. Then begin with specific desires for where you would like to go and generalized intuitive feelings of the, desires ex of the desired experience. And then make the tetrahedra counter-rotate to the point of making a column of light up the center of your body. Add in this final maneuver of perception. Transform the star tetrahedron into an octahedron by rearranging the two four-sided pyramids into one octahedron which has eight sides. When looking through the octahedron as if it is a clear crystal, it is possible to still see the outline of the former star tetrahedron shape. However, one uses one's system of perception to view that shape as a new shape with eight sides, in much the same way that an optical illusion changes the way a viewer can interpret the very same line drawing in two different ways. Using the Merkaba in this way is like driving, quote unquote, through time. And I would be remiss if I did not remind everyone who is learning to drive to, quote unquote, wear a seatbelt, have enough gas to go and to return, have a map or some idea of where you are going, don't drive to a bad neighborhood, and lock your vehicle for safety so no one can hijack your transportation.